This is this is. All of his co-workers were gone. gone. What could it, what mean? Could it mean? Stanley decided, Stanley decided to go to, to meet him. Meeting. Perhaps, Perhaps he had simply missed the memo. memo. Stanley came to a set of two of the doors. He entered the closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned the coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping, Stepping into his into manager's, manager's office, office Stanley, Stanley was once was again once stunned. Again. Here's 
The moon looks huge in the sky tonight. Okay, let's see if we can find that last uh, figurine. There's one more figurine I need to find. Um, All of his coworkers were gone. gone. What, could what could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps uh, that's the last one. Perhaps it was blue and red. Stan just, just smiled. Anywhere they went they together, went together would, be would be perfectly fine with him. This was this not the only way to the, to the meeting room, but Stanley, Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee round was simply the place to be. And here it was. was. Had the bucket had turned, turned out to be correct? Was this, was this better, better than the meeting room? room? Yes, yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, yes, perhaps it truly was. was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Truly, truly, being, being with, being the, with bucket the bucket was a was grand, grand adventure. Stanley, Stanley reflected, reflected on all they'd been through together. Through together. First, First, walking, walking through, through the door on the right, right. Then, then walking, walking to the lounge, the then, then arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. Perhaps this was where the bucket felt most truly Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps, Perhaps it's the only, it's the only place, place a bucket can even feel the film. But, but finally, the, the bucket was done, done being in the lounge, and they took, and they the, took the first, first open the door, door on their left to get, to get back to business. That'd be this door, but we're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way. We're going to check it out. Now, check it out. now. Find now. Find it's 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 the bucket. Go to the meeting room. room. Go somewhere go else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. Separation of himself from the bucket, his dearest friend. So he saw himself to his death, that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touched him. Try a different way.
Because the end is never the end. Is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. It just restarts you. All of his co-workers were gone. gone. What, could, what it could it mean? Stanley decided, decided to go to, to the meeting. meeting. Perhaps, Perhaps he had simply missed the memo. memo. A humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. Stan attached the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not a letter to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here and it was. Had the, had the bucket, bucket turned out to be correct, was no... Was never mind. The bucket, bucket was wrong. wrong. Stanley cut the door on his left, left to go back to the meeting meeting. No, no, said the said bucket. bucket. Don't go and to the meeting room. room. Go somewhere, go somewhere else. else. The cargo, the cargo lift. lift, yes. yes. Go, go there. there. Go to go the cargo lift. lift. Said the bucket. Bucket. Now, now ride the, the lift all the way to the, way to the top. top. There's, something There's something up there, up there I, need I need you to do. You to do. Stanley, Stanley did not, did not question, question why or how this bucket was speaking. It, it should have alarmed but Stanley, Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself from the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death, that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touched. I think I can jump onto the other ledge if I get up high enough. And it can get on the other part where it won't allow me to walk. If I look at the platform right high enough, I think I could do it. All of this is gone. What could, what it, what could mean? it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting meeting. Perhaps he had simply missed the memo. That stands the test of time. Stan will clutch the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not a correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, no, said the bucket. bucket. Don't go, go to the go meeting, to the meeting room. room. Go somewhere, go somewhere else. else. The cargo lift. Yes. yes. Go, go there. there. Go, go to, to the cargo, the cargo lift. lift. Good, good, said the bucket. bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. The top. There's, something There's something up there I need you to do. do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stan chose not to think about this obstacle. Yeah, he, he was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Maybe this is where the other figure ring will be. Maybe. 2B1. No, no, stop. stop. Look there Look on there the wall. You see, there's a there's sign right there. It says, no buckets pass this point. point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
What if the what problem is that you that actually you don't know what, know what is a bucket, a bucket and what isn't, isn't a bucket? A bucket. I, suppose I suppose that, that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, which if that's if true, true, well, my well, goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. So next time it resets, I just won't pick the bucket up. Now then, now then, I'm going I'm to run you through, through some test scenarios, scenarios and you'll and tell me you'll whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. This is a blue room. This should tell us everything we need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. I tell you, is this a bucket? Incorrect. Incorrect. It is a it hologram, is a hologram of, a bucket, of a bucket, not an actual bucket. bucket. <laughs> Alright, two. Item two. Is, is this, this a bucket? bucket? Correct. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, of a bucket not an not actual, actual bucket. bucket. Item three. three. Is this, is a, this bucket? a bucket? Incorrect. This is, this a, bucket. is a bucket. Item four. Is this, is this a, bucket? a bucket? Correct. Correct. This, this is a tractor and, and not a bucket. bucket. To be, to be honest, honest I just saw put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this, this might be too much for you. Thank, Thank you for not making me look like an idiot. Okay, next one. Item five. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. This is a bucket. How is that a bucket? Item, Item six. six. Is this, is a, this bucket? a bucket? Trick question. question. Both. Both. Gotcha. gotcha. It is and it's not a bucket. Item, Item Wait, hold, wait, on. hold I on. I can't, I can't find, find the next one. one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. somewhere. Yes. yes, thank, thank you. you. There's, There's nothing, nothing here. here. Of course, of course it, isn't it isn't a bucket. A bucket. We, we both know full, full world, nothing, nothing isn't a bucket. bucket. Wait, Wait, when I say nothing, nothing isn't a bucket, bucket. That, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, bucket which of course is, is not true. true. Unless, Unless, is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stan. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost, I've lost all, all sense, sense of perspective. perspective. What, what is a bucket? bucket? What isn't, what isn't a, bucket? a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. confidence. And yet and now, now I'm somewhat interested. Do any of us know what a bucket is? is? Am I a bucket? A bucket. Stan, I, I can't keep doing this. this. I'm losing I'm myself, and myself is all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't do that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay, okay. Here, we go. here we go. What happened? What happened? Is everything Is gone? gone? Why did Why everything did disappear? disappear? Wait, wait. Was, was everything a bucket? bucket? Every, Every single, single thing, thing in the game, game was a bucket. bucket. Oh my god, god I have no idea. idea. How could it? Except, except me. me. I'm, I'm not, not a bucket, bucket after, after all. all. And you, and Stanley, you're, you're still here. here. You're, you're not, not a bucket, bucket either. either. Oh, this is it's wonderful news. We're, we're, we're not buckets. buckets. Yes, yes, I actually I feel, feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, issue. but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, 
I'll recess everything. We'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. All of this co is gone. gone. What could, what it, could mean? it mean? Stanley Stan decided, decided to go to, to, go the, to meeting. the meeting room. Perhaps, Perhaps he had simply missed, missed a memo. memo. No, matter no matter how hard Stanley, Stanley looked, he couldn't he find a trace of his co-workers. Now I'm not going to pick the bucket up. I'm going to leave the bucket and do that same route that I just did. See if it's the same when Stanley came to a set of two open this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it very well. They let me go Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee range first, it's just as a Stanley now has an incredible room. Stanley for the first but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I don't. I shut that door. Stanley is so bad at following directions, it's incredible it was years ago. There we go. Let's see it. Look, Stanley, I think that's what they're going to do. I'm not sure you really are. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you Absolutely. that convinced that someone's going to be bad and mean to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something no beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove it that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Maybe the other figurine will be here. Now listen to this, Kev, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. There it is. And there it is, the last Stigley Ridley. Save this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I will tell you that I'm proud of you for connecting you, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done for you. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. I got them all. Go get a trophy for that or what? Probably not. Which door do you want me to go in? The right? Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you.
This is uh, the Stanley Parable. The ultra deluxe uh, one. It's like pure puzzles. You have to figure things out and redo the game over and over and go through different scenarios. And like you can take an elevator down one time, you go through it again, you can take it down two or three more times, and maybe the fifth time it'll be different. You just gotta find out secrets through the whole game, eh? I can actually restart it all and show you if you want it, but that would be from the very start to now, and that's like easily six, seven hour gameplay. Maybe more. Like even at the end of this, there's a, a room where you gotta turn on the mind control machine, you gotta figure out the code to uh, stop, it, stop the timer from running, and nobody's found that code out yet. We have checked out on YouTube and everything, but there is a code. There's a certain thing you gotta punch in to stop the timer from kicking down. Just different things you do have different outcomes. And when I first started, it was just a Stanley Parable, and now, when I replay it, it calls it the Stanley the Parable Part 2, and it adds new content as you play. It's different. It's a different game. Different outcomes happen. Different scenarios play out. I think I got uh, eight trophies now, and I think there's maybe ten or eleven, but the last ones are hard to get. And the no, narrator wait, talks wait. to you. Where are you, Where going? you going? This section contains suicidal themes. Hold X to skip and complete this ending. There's different endings to it, eh? So. Oh no! Oh, no. Stay, Stay away from those stairs. stairs. If you if hurt you yourself, yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Please, Please no, no Stanley, let me stay here. here. Don't take, take this from me. me. Please, Please Stanley, Stanley, think, think about, about what you're, what you're doing. doing. Take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Let's do it. That's when we go to the other room. Now we can choose not to go to the other room, but I'm choosing to go to it to see if it's something different. Yes. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. That's pretty cool. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? I imagine you gotta do the jump to kill yourself thing. But you'll throw yourself on this platform over and over to be rid of it. You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I really in a situation to wreck it? Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get it all. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you didn't make a choice after all. Well, well, this, this one, one is yours. yours. Do, you Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you, or are you just, just teasing, teasing me? me? See, if I had it went up, he would probably would have said something different. But now, because I'm going this way, he's saying something different. When I stand on the circle, it'll be more uplifting type of thing. I wanted us to be happy with you, Stanley. I really, I really did. did. I wish... I, I still, still thought, thought that, that was possible. possible.
I bought another game too called uh, Empire of Sin. I'll be playing that one after this one. It looks all right. It looks different. It's like a mafia game. Here I go. Let's see if this one finishes it off or not. Is it is it over? Over? Yeah, it's over. Yep. Yeah. I'm going over. And now I can play it again, and that, that part might be different, or it might be the same. If I take a bucket, it won't let me take a bucket with me, so I was going to say, if I can take the bucket with me, it might be different, but it won't allow me to take a bucket past a certain point. The door shuts to that part. See this part, the light's always on at this part too. I've never seen the light off in this section here. Like that, like it looks like the power is off kind of. I've never seen it. Stand like it. I'm sorry, but I have but a I have little to little call call it's, it's just, it's just it's look at the door. Those fingers. I haven't I stopped have thinking stopped about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? That's like, uh... Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know you're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the film. See, this part changed. Just one more time. I think I've seen this spot one other time. Like there's a cabin with uh, pictures and stuff in it and different little layouts. And Stanley found the collectibles. It's like a little cottage. And inside will be like uh, different pictures and trophies and stuff inside here. Buttons and stuff like that. I'll show you the layouts. I've been here one other time. Yeah, see? I wonder if I set the clock when I play it. The one time if I set it to uh, 10 to 2. That is 10 to 2, right? Yeah, that would be 10 to 2. <laughs> zone, sweet zone.
is where it all began. Oh, this the is like the room with all the uh, light. Back the then, we had no idea how, how many of them we'd find. Sure, it's a six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Oh, I got seven, not six. Why seven? Look at all these hands. I want one above it then. You don't want me to go back in there? Where you come from? And here, and here is a second stand in the room. I'll go on. Back there, I had no faith in you to find anything, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Okay, okay, let's do let's a little quiz. Which, Which of these rooms was the was room you found, found your third mini stand? Can you remember? The bathroom. On the toilet. Hey, that's exactly, that's exactly right. right. It was it here was in the here boss's bathroom. bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Let's see, Let's see. what came okay, next? next? Oh yes, oh, we yes, found a figure in this pink room. room. Oh well, 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 I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. This was this the was fifth minute stand, stand, and this and one this was one really was something really special. special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so yeah, clearly. Exactly in fact, the because the this one is particularly money. special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, you found it. I dropped that one and got it. That's how I found it. Yep, right there is where I got it. Back, doesn't it? I spent yeah, a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Yeah, the sixth one was here to the right in the little closet. 
and then steadily, then we came to the last cluster, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinctive clear in our eye, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. The moment when I thought it was the moment picking up the dreams, which is great. Now I saw an extra one, but it said going right door, but I'll go blue door. Wait, yeah, the blue door. Oh, wait, red door takes me the same way. Maybe this takes me to the extra content. You are in the present. And then, and then there was no more. Because, because we caught up to the present moment. moment. Nothing, Nothing left to do but move on into the future. Goodbye, my reserve. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here and enjoy the real room? Let's just go dunk with it. We'll do the new things and return from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Okay, okay, yes, the room, the room with the red and blue doors. Door. I, I remember this. this. I must say, I must of say all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinctive clear in my mind. Let's keep Let's going. Keep I want more. Door 215. That's how close 215 is to us. Uh, it's like right there near the start. Hey, 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 And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video you watched? Yeah, you're going to watch it again? Yeah, I love that video. Then the bathroom. Then the Still don't remember the pink stand. Still no memory of this place. Good room though. A solid room. Here comes the bus and bathroom. These really were really well in town. You know, you know if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of connecting it. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. This is this the is very the first, first one we found, found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figurines. Oh, oh, I want I more want memories, memories then. then. I want to keep going. What else, what else is, is there? there? What came, came before, before this? this? Look, it's Look, the it's terrible, terrible new content, content that we were originally yes. sold on. Okay, I remember the time, the time does the time put a rosy filter on everything. Rosy in, fact, in fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. 
to come to come from the past. I want I want more more, more. 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 The elevator for the lift. Oh, yes, yes. The two, two doors. doors. Who could have forgotten, forgotten that? that? That's, That's not memory, memory, this one. This takes me to the one way to the room with the uh, projector, and this takes me to the, uh, the lounge. Oh, but they're both in the same place. Uh, and the there was your office. office. Is there, is is there, there anything, anything else? Was there something, was there something, something that came before, before your office? office? There's something, There's something I, feel I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. There's heaven. There's lots of stuff. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. Yes. Yes. I'm remembering, I'm remembering something now. I remember, I remember before, before this whole, whole story, story got started. Got started. Back then, I, then I, was, mm, I was different. I, was different. I used to I make, used to make big, decisions. big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I, I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then, and then somewhere, somewhere along, along the way, I stopped, I stopped making decisions. decisions. I became lazy, and I came, and I up, came up with wealth. I came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, and he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected a figure of me for no reason. Why did I even stand there? Was I lonely? Yes, yes, perhaps that's, that's it. it. Perhaps I needed, I needed to imagine I had companions. And Stanley really, really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But now, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to go for my sight again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be strong this time. I'll take, I'll take care, care of myself. myself. I don't need Stanley stand anymore. Oh, no, but he truly was so much fun to play with. Now you'll be you know Since, we're Since we're in the memory, memory, memory zone, zone, how about, about one, one more good memory? memory. Let's go Let's back just once, once and give and Stanley, Stanley one more run of the office, office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling the story so very much. Okay, here we go. This, this is the, is story, the story of a man, of a man named Stanley. Stan. Stanley was alone. Was alone. Finally. Finally. This, this is great, great, he thought he to himself. himself. This, this is, is what I've what wanted, wanted all along. I got, got what I what wanted. wanted. When Stanley, when Stanley came to a set of two open, open doors, doors, he entered, he entered the, the door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps, Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, first just, just to admire it. it. Stanley, Stanley felt like headed, butterflies butterfly in his stomach, stomach giddy in a way he had never known before. Was it, was it this room? room? A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? I mean, truly... Truly, truly, deeply, deeply madly, madly, love. love. Yes, yes, really, really, really worth, worth it being, being here in the room. room. A room, a room so, so utterly, utterly captivating, captivating but, but eager to get back to business, Stanley, Stanley took the took first the open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there.
Coming to his staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into, into his manager's, manager's office, office Stanley, Stanley was once was again stunned, stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that laid buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Descending deeper, deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoops. Whoops. Nope. Nope. Uh, uh, never, never mind. Stanley, Stanley actually, actually got, got back into the elevator, elevator and went back up. Silly. Why, Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just be back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Here we are, Here we Stanley. Are, Stanley. It's, your it's your boss's, boss's office. office. Exactly, exactly the way it was before, before you got onto the elevator. It's still, it's still just exactly what it is. What a decision what you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive, rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this?
sure this time, time Stanley, Stanley, Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Did you think we were going to get him forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again, again to go to back, back up in the elevator. elevator. I can't I even can't begin, begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it Is the boss's office, office again? again? Or what? But it's, it's the boss's office this time. time. The, suspense the suspense is killing me. Absolutely changes change everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with. No! No, wait! No! I need, I need more time, more time to process. To process. Space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Eight. 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 Eight.
Of course. Going back down the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind-control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. When at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his... Oh, Stan, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stan, how bored do ever I really do? But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do, for example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. A 
walk on to a destination then. Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to me. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. What you can try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I must keep the city go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock right now. These are precious additional seconds. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear, dear, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that time that something in this room was capable of turning it on? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored buttons, or maybe this big red button, or this drawer. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That time isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world that far. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left, this Johnny. 30 seconds until a big thing will make that happen. No way, away. Just two big low levels. Will you change this desperately to your own? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or It's all the same. All part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment of fading until the moment I say it happened here. The buddy of Mead Stanley wanted to be a better man, and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest, and entered the door on his left. Stanley needed the, the bucket's warmth and comfort now more, more than ever. Perhaps, Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. 
understand it, we, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can come into a staircase, stand on the bucket, walk upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping into the manager's, manager's office, office Danny, Danny was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight, by the weight of this weight revelation, revelation Stanley may have broken, have broken down, down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. But Stanley was the correct call by Sean Mark. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. The elevator, the elevator was down, down plummeting, plummeting towards, towards an unknown, an unknown fate. fate. It would be it would all Stanley could do to keep himself together, together, if not for the bucket. bucket. Soothing, Soothing him, him, comforting him, him reassuring, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, uncertainty he would be all right. right. The bucket, the bucket is, is here, here Stanley. Stanley. Everything, Everything will be fine. Will be fine. Straight ahead with a large, large door that read, read Mind, Mind Control, control facility. facility. The lights rose on, on an enormous room packed with television, with television screens. screens. What, horrible what horrible secrets did this place hold? Stand, Stand me in the bucket, the bucket both wondered to themselves. Stanley nearly dropped, dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone, Everyone in the in office the was office being videotaped, videotaped monitored, monitored by guinea pigs. The bucket, the bucket had, never had never seen anything, seen anything like, like this, and it very nearly burst, burst into tears as Stanley, Stanley cradled it gently, gently reassuring us that everything would be fine. fine. Was the, was the bucket, bucket under the under mind the control, control facility's influence as well? well? Had the had bucket, the bucket been, told been told to do things, things it didn't wish to do? To what kinds of things, things does a bucket does want, a bucket want, want to, do, to do or not want to do, do in the first place? place. These, These questions, questions raised furious and scandalous He couldn't, he couldn't accept, accept it. it. His own His life, life in someone else's, else's control. control. Never. Never! He squeezed, he squeezed the bucket tighter. tighter. His, one His one friend, friend in the entire, in the entire world. world. At this, At this point, point, he could he trust, trust no one no except, except for the bucket. For the bucket.
But here but was here the proof. proof. The, heart the heart of the heart operation. Of the operation. Controls, Controls labeled, labeled with emotion. With emotion. Happy, Happy or sad, or, sad or, content. or content. Walking, walking eating, eating working, working, all of it all monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the and cold, cold reality of his past, past began to sink in, Stanley, Stanley decided, decided that this machinery, this machinery would never would again exert its terrible, terrible power over, over another, another human life. life. For, For he, he and the and bucket, bucket were disappointed. Dis <laughs> Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? They had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted a moment to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. And... What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley in the bucket not about to be free? An unbearable silence filled the room. Lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to be. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. Needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. The building in the lens was the part of the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place, not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms, not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley said he would never again leave this very room, but at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley thought. Very soon now, he was about to find out. How long, How long was he sitting, sitting there? there? Stanley wanted to himself. Minutes? Minutes? Days? Days? Centuries? Did something, Did something crucial happen while my while senses, senses were turned? turned? He made he a made note to be more careful with time from now on. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Stanley touched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door of the man. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he could. Stanley, we must move on from this room closet, simply because I have no remaining stick. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping into, into his manager's, manager's office, office Stanley, Stanley was once, once again stunned, stunned to, discover to discover not an indication of any human life. life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley, Stanley may have broken down into it, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation.
Standing on the back of the straight ahead through the large guard of red, mind control facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demands, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be close to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of tricked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Farewell Stanley, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into, into the enormous metal, metal jaws. In a single, single visceral, visceral instant, the bucket's, the bucket's life, life came to an end, to an end as, it as it was crushed, crushed violently, violently to death. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Can you, Can you see, see how, how arrogant, arrogant it was for Stanley, Stanley to take a bucket, bucket like this and to and claim it for his own? 
Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? No, no man, man can own a bucket, a bucket, and certainly, and certainly not, not a bucket, bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. one. It is it man is who should kneel before the bucket. bucket. There, there is, is something, something we can do, something, something we can do together, together you and I, that will that right this, this terrible wrong. wrong. Let's stand it down. Let him get crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let stand down and get together.
all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Stanley, Stanley went around, went around touching, touching every, every little thing in the office, office but it didn't, didn't make a single difference, difference nor did it advance the story in any way. Another humility to carry a back is so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then pursued his humble. Tightly to his chest and entered the door of his man. This was this not the correct way to the meeting room, room. but Stanley, Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here and it was. Had the, had the bucket, bucket turned out to be correct, correct? Was, this was this better than the meeting room? room? Yes, yes, Stanley. No, no, never mind. The bucket, bucket was wrong. Stanley, Stanley took the door on his neck to go back to the meeting room. room. Said the bucket. Don't, Don't go, go to the meeting room. room. Go somewhere, go somewhere else. else. The cargo the lift. Yes. yes. Go, go there. there. Go to the, the cargo, cargo lift. lift. Good. Good. Said the bucket. Now, now ride, ride the lift, the lift all, all the way to the top. top. There's something, There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should it have been long, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stan chose not to think about this obvious thing. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stan once again obeyed blindly.
now pick, now pick up, up the, the phone, phone, said the bucket. Pick up the This, this is the is sad, sad story, story of the man named Stanley, Stanley and, his and his bucket. bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, and then very distressingly, he, he began to believe the bucket, the bucket could speak to him. The standard plan of the bucket was merely meant, meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't, it doesn't literally talk and give orders. Whatever, whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. head. Lately, I've been, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Stanley! Can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. You see, he's not missing. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is this awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. He's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection, but it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdy. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Oh, well, 
Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? If I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll...